Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. As with any repair, be sure you've unplugged the appliance before beginning. Your first step is to detach the control panel. Depending on your model, you will either insert a putty knife under the panel to release the two clips, or you will pull off both plastic end caps and remove the screws found underneath. Now, rotate the control panel up. Remove the screws securing the main top and slide the top off. Next, insert a flathead screwdriver between the upper and lower front panels to release the two clips and detach the lower panel. Remove the two door springs. Remove the upper panel mounting screws at the bottom along with the lint screen duct screws. Detach the moisture sensor wire. Now disconnect the door switch wire connector. Remove the screws from the top of the upper panel. And lift the upper panel off. Depress the pulley to release the belt tension and unthread the belt from the pulley and motor shaft. Use the belt to lift out the drum. Disconnect the wires from the old fixed thermostat. Remove the mounting screws to release the old thermostat from the burner housing. Install the new fixed high limit thermostat by positioning it on the burner housing and securing it with the mounting screws. Reconnect the wires. Next, replace the drum by aligning its rim on the two rear rollers. And loop the belt around the tension pulley and motor shaft in a zigzag formation. Rotate the drum to help align the belt. Replace the upper front panel by aligning the two rollers on the drum rim and positioning the top lip of the panel on the cabinet brackets. Replace all four panel screws along with the lint screen duct screws. Reattach the moisture sensor wire and the door springs. Now replace the lower front panel by snapping it into position. Reconnect the door switch wire connector at the top of the dryer. Slide the main top on and secure it with the screws. Rotate the control panel down and lock it into place. If applicable, replace the screws and end caps. You're now ready to plug the appliance back in to make sure it's functioning properly. 